I am a terrible fisherman who packs way too much stuff in his bag as it is. So I went looking for the lightest, most compactable, most idiot proof way to catch fish while backpacking and I found it. And we're gonna talk about it right now. So here we are folks, welcome to the channel. So the kind of fishing we're gonna be talking about today is tenkara fishing. Tenkara fishing is a sort of Japanese fly fishing. It's really minimalist, which makes it perfect for backpacking. It's usually done in small streams or creeks. I find that kind of tenkara fishing to be much more difficult, but I find it really easy to catch fish with these things at high mountain lakes those high mountain lakes we love to backpack to that we always see fish jumping in and we're just like, hey, if I could throw something, anything out there, I'm sure I could catch a fish. And that's exactly what you can do. You can just throw this thing out there and catch a fish. So let's just talk about the gear you'll need to get into Tenkara fishing. It's really simple to get into this. You'll only really need to buy one simple, nicely, neatly packaged Tenkara setup. I went with a company called Tenkara Rod Company. Why did I go with Tenkara Rod Company? Well, the main thing is they're out of Idaho Falls and me being from Idaho, I wanted to buy local. They are a big player in the Tenkara market, so you really can't go wrong with them. A lot of their rods have cool Idaho names like the Sawtooth Package or the White Cloud Package. The one I went with is the Beartooth. This is their smallest, most collapsible, most versatile rod that they have. It will cost you $200 for this and all the things you need to get started. This thing is totally carbon fiber. It weighs 2.3 ounces. It comes in this really hard, indestructible tube, and you can just throw this in your bag and be on your way. The other stuff that's gonna come in your kit is this little package here that's gonna come. It's gonna hold all your goodies. You're going to get a wooden spool kind of holds your line there. You also will get some Tenkara line. This is the line that you attach to your Tenkara rod. It's usually about 14 feet long. On the end of your Tenkara line, you will add tippet about this much. About two feet of tippet is good. You're also gonna get this little tin can that holds your flies. Now, they only send you three flies. I would recommend getting some more. I have a collection here, more packages that I've ordered from Tenkara Rod Company. And then going down to your local fly shop and getting some flies that guides in your area recommend, I, that's a pretty smart way to go. And for $200, you'll get all that and you are good to go. Some other accessories you might wanna look into, little nippers just in case you wanna like cut your line. Basically a pair of pliers to get, you know, the hooks out. There's also paste you can get to make either your line or your fly float. Tenkara fishing is traditionally wet fly fishing, which means that your fly will sink. Wet fly fishing is typically more successful and easier to do, but if you're a traditionalist, you might wanna try dry fly fishing, and to do that, these are the paste you would get. Now, you might be wondering about a net. I do have the Tengara net that I got. It is made completely of carbon fiber, but it's pretty big and it's still a little heavy. I think this is about 12 ounces. This is the smallest one that they sell. And I find myself leaving this at home a lot. I just take the fish out by hand. But if you want a net, they have nets, they have bags. I don't really see a use for it if you're taking it for backpacking. So let's pull out our rod here real quick. It comes in another soft case in the hard case for extra protection. The reason this one is the most collapsible is that most Tenkara rods from the Tenkara Rod Company have a cork handle to it, which makes it a little bigger, a little bulkier. This rod is all work and no flash, and that's why I love it. <laughs> The rod has a little stopper here on the end. You will take your Tenkara line, attach it to this end, pop the top. Out comes your rod. It will extend to 10 feet long. Oh no, I've hooked my camera. I'm tangled up, even in the studio. A couple tips before you head out to the next mountain lake. To cast, 
use your finger right here and it is just a soft flick of the wrist. You're gonna want that fly to land in the lake nice and easy. It's all kind of this motion. Find a high point when you're next to the lake, either a rock or a bank. It's really cool and it's a lot easier when you can see the fish actually come up and take your bait. And when you're standing above them, you'll see them swim by. You'll actually be able to cast to them. Make sure you wear some polarized sunglasses and these will help clear up the glare so you can see your fish better. Once your fly hits the lake, you're just gonna wanna kinda give it a little like this, like you're jigging with it. And then it's just fly, jig a little bit, fly, jig a little bit. You'll be catching fish in no time. It is super easy. Now, at this point, are you asking John, when I hook a fish, how the heck do I get that thing out? Good question. You're right, this thing has no reel. You cannot reel it in. You will actually have to kind of pull the fish in. I like to use a technique where I put the line behind me, slowly bring it back down to the tip, and then grab the line and slowly work myself into the fish before taking it out and releasing it. Just be careful that you don't step on your Tenkara rod on the way back. If you do step on your Tenkara rod, it is really easy to get those segments replaced. You will just email Tenkara Rod Company, costs like 15 bucks for a segment, let them know what segments you need, and you will just unscrew the bottom of this rod and replace your sections where you can get them right here. Just everything about this setup is so easy and so minimal, and I love it, and it's a ton of fun, and you'll have fun too. Check out some of these fun backpack fishing adventures over here. YouTube thinks you'll like this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.